Hello. Right now we need an uplift. It's too cold and it's too wet to garden. The days are getting shorter and on TV it's non-stop coronavirus, Brexit and the US election. All of which could run for months. This is a compilation video that includes a potato reveal and a carrot reveal from the homegrown veg Hot Eyes. Hello, this is one of my 10 inch pots I've been growing carrots in. It's a carrot called Norwich and it's an F1. So it's a carrot called Norwich and it's an F1. Okay. Now then. I've lifted um, a couple of pots of carrots this year and unfortunately none of them seem to be able to get to the bottom of the pot uh, and I think that's probably because we've had so much rain that the pots have always been really far too wet and there's been no real need for the roots to try and reach the bottom of the pot uh, there's been that much water in the pot um, so no need to go down and look for any more anyway uh, I'm going to take all these carrots in a one eh? And let's see if we can get some carrots maybe that have got more than halfway down this pot because so far that's not been the case with any of them. Oh, there we go. Try them all. Carrots today, I love. Well, the fact that the soil ball has stayed intact the whole way down tells me that there's roots the whole way down. And if there's roots the whole way down, then perhaps some of these carrots have got to the bottom of this pot. Um, I can see that there's some in here. Um, tell you what, let's give it a bump and let's uh, see what's in this pot. Come on, let's bump this, uh, bump this compost off. What do you think? This is looking okay. Hey Molly, this is looking okay. I think we've got a few decent sized carrots here. Actually this pot isn't as wet as some of the pots that I've harvested this year. Um, Hold on, leave that there more, we'll wash those guys off. Okay. Now this bucket is a similar size to the pot that these carrots have just come out of, and as you can see, there are lots of carrots. Yeah. And by the looks of things, they're quite sound. Right more. I'll just move this bucket out the way. I'll pop these in this bottle, let you have a look at them. Okay, I know they're getting dirty again, but they're easily washed again, aren't they? How's that? Some of them are a decent sized carrot. You know, we're reasonably happy with that. Some are a bit smaller. But hey, ha, all that from a 10 inch pot. Come on, that's got to be a result, hasn't it? 
Where did I get this pot? Where did I show you something? That's the pot. 10 inches that way. 10 inches that way. All these carrots came out of that pot. I mean, look. You can hardly get them all in there. That's a pot full of carrots, come on. It is, isn't it? That's a great result. This is the small domestic bucket, we just washed these carrots in. This is the 10 inch pot that those carrots grew in. So that's how big this pot is. It's the same size as a small domestic bucket. And we've got all these carrots. That's a result, isn't it? What do you think, Mo? Molly thinks it's a result. And I can see two or three small ones that's going her way. Right away. There we go, Molly, that for you. Let's see if we can find one more for Molly. Oh, there's a couple of you. A couple of small ones. There you go, sweet that. There for you. Right. I'll take these guys indoors, give them a final wash, tidy them up, and uh, these will be on our dinner plate within the next couple of days. Okay, so this is homegrown veg, signing out. Hello, I'm going to harvest these two pots of uh, sap or murder potatoes today. Um, these are the 10 inch pots. There's one seed potato in each pot. Uh, they've been in these pots for three months, just over three months, between three and four months. Uh, ideally, I'm looking to get some uh, nice sized potatoes out of these pots that I can maybe keep for seed potatoes for next year to grow on in a raised bed. Uh, Sap or murder is a main crop potato. It's probably far too big to be growing in these small 10 inch X cut flower water buckets. Um, but that's where it's been growing. So let's, uh, let's get these guys out of the pots. Let's see what we've got. We'll do a weigh-in and we'll check to see if we've got any uh, nice sized potatoes that we will want to store to grow on next year. Now to do that, the potatoes that I do keep will need to keep for over six months. So they will need to be stored dry, cool, dark and well ventilated. And if I can achieve that, uh, these potatoes will, will, will be okay in six months time to grow on as, as new sap or meter uh, potato plants. Um, but six months is a long time to store anything, uh, so I'll need to be on the ball with that. Okay, take one out the batter and we'll do one. Okay, so this is Sapo Mira, a main crop potato, or an indeterminate potato, depends which side of the pond you're on. One seed potato in this pot, between three and four months. 
moment Molly's on standby as you can see. Saw bolts all in all in together well. That tells you it's fairly wet. Hey look at that. These guys weren't very far from the top of this pot were they? Let's go the other way around, shall we? Let's go from the top. I've never done this before. Let's go from the top rather than from the bottom. Well, not so many so far, but I'll tell you what, they look like seed potatoes to me. What about you? Just the right size, look. Yep. So although we might not get anything out of this pot that we eat, we'll certainly get some seed potatoes, I think, for next year. And we'll grow more. Oh, it's a bigger one. Up there, Mom. Excuse me. Good girl. Right, let's see what's in this soil bowl. Anything else? One more there. Little one there. As you'll be placed in all my light. Oh, the old seed potato. Yeah, can you get out of that. Right, let's bring these guys up to the back of the bottom. Let you have a look at them. One went in, that's what came out. I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five seed potatoes there, I would think. I um, mean, that's before I've cleaned them up. I'll clean them up, uh, and then we'll get them dry, and then we'll store them. Right, Molly, you can't have any anything yet. Um, and we'll do a weigh-in. I'll pop these in here, just so we get the uh, second plant up here. Um, and we'll see what it's got. I think the best I've done this year out of those 10 inch pots is just under three pounds, ever so slightly under three pounds. Not that I'm expecting it from these pots, um, but you never know, do you? You never know. Right, let's try this sharp one later. I think we'll go from the top again, if this will turn over. Yes it will. Right. These guys aren't far under, are they? Look at that, they're nearly breaking the surface. And of course that's when you get your green backs, don't you? The potatoes start to turn green where they break the surface, where the, where the light gets them. Um, Have you had a good year with your potatoes? What's your standout vegetable this year? What is it? What's your standout vegetable? What's 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 done best for you this year? I'll start this off, shall I? And in fact, what we'll do? No, we'll go worst performing. Worst performing this year. My worst performing this year is the winter onions that I grew from last year. They were a disaster, and I mean a disaster. At least half of them went to seed. Um, but we've got some, and we've actually nearly eaten those now. Um, so we're ready for this year's harvest to come along. And that's where I get to my major success of the year. Wait till you see these onions. You're not gonna see them on this video. They're not ready yet. In fact, they haven't fallen over yet, so I can't harvest them, or at least I don't want to harvest them. Um, but this year's onions, grown from seeds, because I've always grown from sets over the last two or three years I have, and had disaster after disaster. But 
this year I've grown from seed. Wait till you see these onions. Hey, look at this. Let's get back on. Uh, let's get back on track, Paul. These look okay, don't they? Um, we'll give you that one. That look okay for more. Bit of dirt on it. Bit of dirt never uh, get in there. Uh... Right, we'll go and get the scales. We'll weigh these. I'll put them in this uh, in this bucket first, and then we'll do a weigh. -in. Hey, that looks like a sweet potato. That's too big. That looks about right. What do you think? Sweet potato. So, actually I have some more sapos in pots, uh, but they're a few weeks away. And I might even get some sweet potatoes out of there as well. Okay, Mom, let's get the scales. Okay, we'll do this pot first, then we'll do this pot. Small ones. Right, more. Let's see what have we got. What are you making? Two pound molly. What do you make that molly? Two pound. I make that two pound. Hey, we're happy with that. We are happy with that. Two pound. And there's two or three of those will go seed potatoes. The rest will eat. Two pounds, right. So what this guy's got. What have we got on this one, Mo? Let's have a look. I'm going to call that two pound, come on, we can call that two pound, can't we? So we've got a draw, two pound and two pound. One seed potato in each, uh, in each pot, three month, sapo murder. Not the biggest sapo murder in the world, but hey, you know, for a small pot, no bigger than a domestic water bucket, used to be a flower, could flower water bucket. That's a delivery, isn't it? One in, all them out. Come on. That'll do us, won't it, Paul? Yeah, that'll do us. Right, let's see if we can find another small one for you. I think there was one that I spotted. Best give you it. Actually, I think it might be in that other bucket. Let me have a look in there, Paul. Yeah, I spotted a small one. Give Molly that one, shall we? Do you want that one, Mol? She's licking her lips, I think she wants it. No, oh, no more, Molly, that's it. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to tell me what was your best veg this year? What was your worst veg this year? So, this is homegrown veg and Molly signing out. Come on, Mol. Come on. Stay safe and make some plans for growing your own homegrown veg when conditions permit. This is homegrown veg signing out.